So this is Jeremy Hammer of the Seaton Corporation, and you're uh, Vice President of Systems Integration, is that right? That's correct. Okay, uh, and many of you now will recognize Jeremy's name from the green button. He's been very active in the Seaton thread, which was one of our top threads of the year, over 900 posts. Um, Jeremy, so your card was featured in the keynote last night. Yes, it was. It's, uh, it's in the Microsoft booth right now. It's in a slimline PC, and it's, it's running four HD streams. Why are people so excited about this product? Well, the important, the uh, exciting thing about this product is the fact that it's really the first time that you can get an affordable uh, solution to end on your PC for premium cable content, and especially with most of the cable companies starting to encrypt the ClearCom solutions. They, these ClearCom tuners that are now in existence are becoming obsolete and, and not really uh, giving you the content that you need once we're able to get. So moving forward, it's important to have the conditional access with the cable card to, to be able to access that content that you're paying for, as well as the fact that this is the first time where you can really get a, a multi-stream multi system for your, your DVR to make it you know, above and beyond what, what's currently capable today. Yeah, I noticed even looking at the back of the PC in the Microsoft booth, it's just it's just the one coax in, you know, and then they've got four streams, whereas right. if you look at the back of my media center at home, it's just this, this mask, yeah, you don't have and then to, it's just one cable card that it needs, right? That's right. You, you no longer have to deal with a bunch of splitters and wires going everywhere. It's one connection, one RF connection in with the coax cable, one cable card, and you get four live HD streams to record or watch TV. Tell, tell us a little bit about the setup process. Now, I know I would assume that uh, cable companies tend to send out a technician to, to install the cable card itself. Uh, and then going through Media Center, do you go through it four times? Do you just go through it one time? How does that work? So when you go through the Media Center setup with our card, you, you go through and it will automatically detect that there is a four tuner system. And it detects it as if there were four streams, but it's just in one single process. So you'll go through it, it'll say, I found four tuners, do you want to use these? You say, okay, and, and move on. And there's only one cable card to pair, so uh, it's, the, it's the normal pairing process. Um, depending on your cable provider, they may or may not require a technician to come out. And then, uh, now we've seen talk of like a, a two-tuner card or a six-tuner card, in, but the four-tuner is what's coming to market first, is that yeah, correct? Yes, so the, the four-tuner uh, solution will be available March 31st at $399. Um, you'll be able to get that on Amazon and as well as through some retail partners that we, uh, we haven't quite announced yet. Um, we're also planning on some kind of after that be bundled in OEM solutions as well to make a slimline mini center system. And that's right, so it'll fit in a slimline case, it fits in a full-size case. Correct, correct. It is a half-height uh, slimline PCs or, or uh, form factor, and it comes with a, uh, the retail version comes with a low-profile and a high-profile backplate, so you can swap it out depending on whether you're trying to put it in a slimline or a full-height PC. Okay, very good. And uh, so I put out on our, on our Twitter thread on the green button, I was going to be talking to you. Any questions? The one that came back most was, could you please get it out earlier? I know that for the enthusiasts, there's a lot of excitement, but you guys really are, are seeing this as, as a mainstream product as well. That's correct, yeah. We're, we're trying to um, get it into the, the mainstream market. So that's when the prices are going to come down and, and everything's going to, to, to blow up more and this is going to become new innovative stuff and have new new products. And so unfortunately, it's a, it's a process that takes time and uh, we're planning on coming out on March 31st and that's when you'll be able to get it. Okay. Um, Anything else Seton has up their sleeve that you can tell us about? Or? No. <laughs> this so, I'm sorry, I'm going to play the fifth on that one yeah. today. Well, I know, Jeremy, that uh, the Green Bug community really appreciates it when OEMs and folks like yourself get really involved. So I appreciate the time, not, not just with us today, but also with, in answering questions on the forums. Um, and you said now that the naming contest, you guys are running contests, possibly find a name. Correct. Still open. It's still open. We have not decided on uh, on the name yet. Uh, we've had a lot of good entries, and we're still looking. Um, and we haven't. We want to give everyone a chance to, to submit some more names and before we decide. And so uh, that is definitely still open. Okay. So this is Jeremy Hammer from Seton, who's a uh, cable car tuner, is really generating a lot of excitement here at CS. Thanks for joining us, Jeremy. Thank you.